Greetings of the day. I am Sanjay Rana, a professional geophysicist with 32 years of work experience on engineering projects. It's my proud privilege to welcome you all to this introductory session of first ever online comprehensive training program on tunnels and tunneling. Tunneling is integral to infrastructure development. There is an immediate need of trained professionals to ensure safe, timely, and smooth execution of tunneling projects. Various aspects during different phases of formulating a project, survey and investigation, design, tender and contract management, and tunnel construction need deeper understanding by concerned person to ensure a successful project. It's almost of utmost importance to have updated knowledge on latest cutting edge technologies and global best practices. Keeping all this in view, a comprehensive online training program and on tunnels and tunneling has been developed. This online training program aims at imparting an in-depth knowledge pertaining to all aspects of tunnels and tunneling, pertaining to hydro, highway, railway, and metro rail projects. The idea of this program was actually floated almost an year back, and it took dedicated efforts from industry stalwarts like Dr. Gopal Dhawan, who is very much with us in this session today, Sri Yogendra Deva, Sri Balraj Joshi, and others, this much of time to bring this program to you. They identified and brought on this platform finest brains and experts of the tunneling industry from India and abroad. I'm confident that this program will be useful for generations of tunnel engineers to come and will play a major role in capacity building for times to come. This entire course will be delivered by industry stalwarts from around the world through a learning management system, which is LMS, where pre-recorded lectures, videos, presentations, reading material, etc., will be uploaded so that participants can go through these at their own pace. Live sessions also will be organized wherein participants can directly interact with experts and raise their questions. The online LMS-based delivery mode of this course ensures that skill enhancement doesn't take place at the expense of organization's time and rather at a time and pace chosen by the trainee. I will take, this, I will take you through the journey of LMS in later part of uh, this session and this presentation today. Now, as we go through this uh, session, you might have certain queries, certain questions. So please write your questions in the Q&A space available at your panel. If you look at your panel, on the right side, you have a chat and you have a Q&A. So in the Q&A, please put your questions and then we shall address to all your questions during this session. Now, with this brief introduction, I would like to invite Dr. Gopal Dhawan for his introductory session. Although he doesn't need an introduction, but I feel it's customary to do so. So Dr. Gopal Dhawan has been actively associated with investigation, planning, design, and construction of several hydropower and infrastructure projects in Indian subcontinent in a career spanning over 40 years. He superannuated from as CMD, MECL. Before joining MECL, Dr. Dhawan served NHPC as Executive Director Geotech. Presently, he is member panel of experts with NTPC, member project review panel, Vishnu Ghat People Koti project of TSDC, and working as senior consulting engineering geologist for several companies. After completing MTech in applied geology from University of Roorkee, which is now IIT, in 1979, he joined NHPC and continued to pursue his academic interests at ISM Dhanbad, which is now ISM IIT, while in service. He was awarded PhD for his work on correlations of rock support system and rock quality parameters in Himalayan tunnels in 1994. He is life member of Geological Society of India, past president of Indian Geological Congress, and past president of Indian Society of Engineering Geology, ISEG. He is also member of Dam Safety Review Panel, that is DSRP, of Damodar Valley Corporation for dams and barrages, and member of BIS Sectional Committee, WRD 05. So with this brief introduction, I will invite Dr. Dhaman for his introductory lecture. Dr. Dhaman, to Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Rana, for this generous, not brief, but a very elaborate introduction. Thank you very much. I will share my screen and start within a minute.
Here is it. And now I am in slide mode. I hope uh, I am audible. Perfectly all right, sir. And visible too? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. So, good afternoon, friends. Today I shall be sharing some random thoughts with you that why we chose to uh, conceive this program. And today, the program after almost, you know, our hard work of about one year, this is the program is now in front of you and it is ready for delivery. Tunnels and tunneling, why? So, you see, during the last four decades, there has been revolutionary progress in underground technology. And as a result, we have nowadays so many smart and tunneling, so many smart and modern tunneling projects coming up. Here is a picture from Markovic Tunnel, Slovenia. But in ancient times, tunnels were simple and very difficult to construct because level of technology was not uh, adequate. This is uh, a picture from a Greek aqueduct. Nowadays, people are making underground cities and underground uh, sea tunnels. A uh, lot of tunnels are being constructed through water bodies. In India also, we are now planning to have a tunnel under Brahmaputra, which is almost a mini sea during monsoons. Those who have seen, they can appreciate it. And uh, uh, this is the undersea tunnel, Saiken rail tunnel from Japan. And this is undersea, uh, uh, underground city. Uh, you can see pedways from Chicago, US. Likewise, you know, nowadays tunnels are being dug by machines, by TBMs, by road headers, and by many other kinds of uh, excavators. Uh, this is a tunnel from Algorland. Germany and uh, there, were, there are several examples of tunnels which were dug by hand. Uh, here is a picture from Colorado Midland Roadland Tunnel. So there are several examples and uh, most of you might be knowing even uh, many more examples than, than I have uh, told you. So we all of us knew that tunnels are multi-purpose uh, structures these can be constructed for railways, for road, I mean highways, there are metro tunnels, hydropower tunnels, irrigation tunnels, sewage tunnels and many more types of tunnels. These are essential uh, for, for modern day of life. And these are useful in creating more space for living. These are required for connecting remote places particularly in Himalayas. And most importantly, they connect people. And that's why I like, I like them. So the first reason of choosing this topic is that uh, we want to explore this new knowledge which we are gathering day by day. And there's a lot of improvement in technology in the recent times. So we want to explore this knowledge for you all through this program uh, so that we can improve upon our own tunneling, tunneling technology. Second reason is that here you have seen that tunnels are integral part of any infrastructure project. So they have become very important. So this is after technology, this is our requirement. But Tunnels are, exam, examples are replete of having problems in tunnels because of uncertainty. I have drawn an example from hydropower sector where we have uh, some surface structures like dam, surface powerhouses, but sometimes our houses are constructed in caverns, machine house and transformer caverns are excavated underground. Then there are so many kinds of shafts and then tunnels. So if you see, the for them level of, uh, level of uncertainty geological uncertainty is relatively less because it is very well investigated the entire river uh, base where dam is to be seated is drilled or a lot of geophysics is done 
dam access is thoroughly investigated with drifts. So level of uncertainty is less. For surface power house also, these are situated in good terraces. There is some investigation required for the, for the back slopes. So here also, slightly more than a uh, dam, but, but, but not significant. As we come to the caverns, caverns also are underground structures, but here also for particularly powerhouse caverns are very well investigated through exploratory drifts, drilling and uh, uh, geophysical methods. But for shafts and tunnels, this is not the case, particularly for tunnels, because these are long linear structures. Some of the tunnels like Nakha Jatri tunnel is 27 kilometers long. So you can't investigate every inch of it. So some uncertainty has to be faced. And why uncertainty? This is the reason this picture conveys everything. This is uh, a picture from Bhutan Himalayas where uh, we have investigated a project. Uh, the name of the project is Chamkarchu. Uh, it is still in planning stage. Uh, this was investigated when I was serving NHPC, uh, maybe around 10 years ago. So this red line is uh, signifies the tunnel grade under the hill. So you can see this entire hill is covered with foliage. There is no accessibility. And all of you know that Himalayan geology is complex. Outcrops are very rare and that too for uh, hunting an outcrop, you will have to travel a lot along these nalas and some footpaths and only then you will get some footpaths. To my estimation, in Himalayas, we get hardly 2 to 5 percent of exposed rock and out of that 2 percent, perhaps we can approach half of it. So uh, these are the root causes of uncertainties. Now, in this kind of terrain where there is no road, we can't uh, take our uh, rig machines also, uh, truck mounted rig machines particularly for deep drilling. So we have very little data and therefore this uncertainty will remain. So this is the third cause of choosing this, this, uh, this topic, how to reduce this uncertainty. Can we do something? And to me, it really gives a thrill because to, 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 it is something like, you know, to, to accept a challenge. So this is the third reason of choosing this subject. If I, uh, although in this program, we are aiming at global audience and there are so many faculty members who are coming from other countries, but from Indian context, if I uh, share with you, we have made around 2,700 kilometers of tunnels till now, out of which more than 500 kilometers is in the hydro sector. And uh, at present in hand, we have about 700 kilometers of tunnel construction and planned and proposed projects may be up to 600 kilometers or so. And majority of tunnels are being planned, constructed by uh, in Himalayas. And leaving aside, you know, tunnels which are being made for metros, metro rails, uh, urban tunneling has its own set of problems. But I'm happy to share with you that over the last one decade, there has been significant improvement in the Indian tunneling technology. Thanks to new railway tunneling projects, particularly USBRL and uh, Rishikesh Kanpriya uh, tunneling project, they have really use the technology in a, in a, in a world-class manner. So uh, this uh, improvement in technology can also be measured by a fact that at present in India, more than 80 TBMs are working at present. But completion of tunneling in scheduled time and cost is still very much uncertain. And perhaps that is the reason that uh, that we are here with this program in front of you. Uh, just a minute. Okay. So, uh, having said that, let us understand after explaining the reason 
what is what we are doing today what we have done till now we have made project like kishan ganga which are very very challenging project uh, kishan ganga is a success story of uh, application of pvm in himalayas it's a very long tunnel and uh, most uh, more than 75% of tunnel was dug by pvm in a record time maximum tunneling project uh, in a month was around 750 meters and on an average also it was ranging between 450 meters to 500 meters or so karcham bangtu was a very difficult project it was done in india by private sector by jps then odi stage 1 project it was done in uh, 90s and very difficult project in the same himalayan uh, geology uh, we could construct this this project with very much ease and here practically for the first time natm was used and very successfully used chamera stage 1 it was done in 80s but this is the project from where change in tunneling technology started we started working with drilling jumbos rock bolting jumbos low profile dumpers and many other new, uh, machineries which were new to india at that project then uh, we have uh, piece the five very long tunnel perhaps more than 17 km uh, very challenging rock mass was not good but uh, it was it was excavated through through five edits all uh, by dvm chamira 3 uh, parvati 3 natwa jhakri as i said it is the longest tunnel um, uh, about uh, of about 27 km long or so bsl is a very long uh, very very old tunnel and very long tunnel lopek is also very very old tunnel which was constructed in in 70s and 80s early 80s here this is the only case in india where we had seen methane blast methane gas blast and we have lost more than 100 lives during that that time technology was very in a primitive state but in lokter nhpc management decided to bring in road headers uh, i think this was the first example of application of road tunnel it was partially successful partially some primitive type of natm was also applied but tunnel was constructed with a lot of difficulties and still functioning very well rampu tunnel is uh, constructed well in time and uh, it is done by sjvn then dulasti once again by nhpc tala in mangdechu in bhutan incidentally the man who has constructed mangdechu project and uh, from inception to commissioning is with us uh, mr ak mishra who is uh, on our faculty and who will be delivering a lot of lectures on uh, tunnel designs uh tala tunnels is also one of the very very challenging tunnels uh, there is a case study by mr khaganchi in this program and there are many more tunnels i have just uh, wrote some uh, names of these tunnels randomly there are n number of tunnels and perhaps if i start speaking on tunnels it will become a complete lecture in itself and uh, likewise there are so many under construction project or planned projects in hydro sector tapovan vishnugad where tvm tvm is in problem lohari nagpala it is closed because of environmental issues parvati 2 this is also one of the any species project where uh, mr mish ak mishra was there when the tvm started and it was doing very well during his regime when he was the manager of the project but incidentally uh, midway it Uh, got struck due to due to very high water ingress laden with silt lot of silt and it has taken 3 or 4 years of time in in you know uh, starting the project again uh, but uh, the good news is that the tbm portion is now complete and a part of dbm uh, tunnel is remaining maybe it will see light like day very soon uh, tawang 1 and 2 both are very long tunnels but still in planning stage phase the 5 is on construction vishnu ghat people coty project of uh, of of thdc uh, here also a tvm has been deployed but uh, there are some initial problems in their edit but their dvm tunneling is being done very very efficiently and uh, you see what is there in future there is about more than 100 uh, so 
about 75% of hydropower potential is untapped in northern Bhutan and 95% in the northern northeastern Bhutan. It is to be harnessed yet. So there's a lot of tunneling in store for us and therefore we have to have new manpower. We have to have trained manpower. And this is also one reason of bringing this program because we, 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 we think that not many people are required to take initiative in capacity building. Not only geologists and engineers are, are to be trained. In my opinion, a lot of operators are to be trained and other workmen are also required to be trained. And some initiative should be taken in that direction also. There are certain important uh, transportation uh, tunneling projects. First one, which is partially completed is Udhampur Baramula Railway Link Project, which is known as US BRL project also. Here, about 114 kilometers of tunneling is involved. Then Rishikesh Kanpriyak project has, uh, is under construction. Uh, here, I'm very happy to share with you, uh, the last month data was that they have done more than one kilometer of tunneling in a month through several phases, of course. Here, uh, 218 kilometers of tunneling is involved. Uh, here, as I said, that a lot of new technology is being experimented and all types of tunneling methods are also being used in one single project. Then uh, Atal Tunnel, a very challenging uh, tunnel, which is also known as Rohatan Tunnel, which connects Leh and Manali. It has been completed and last year it was inaugurated by our Honorable Prime Minister. It is around 9 km long. And once again, a 9 km long Shinani Nashi tunnel is also completed. Uh, and then phase two of Chardham tunneling project in Uttarakhand is in offing. Sela tunnel is still in planning stage and Zozila and Zedmo tunnels are under construction. Now, having said that, what is our aim in totality? We, as you must appreciate from my presentation, we see a lot of tunneling in future. Hence, this is our initiative to prepare engineers and geologists for the tunneling industry. Secondly, we feel there is a need to develop and implement new strategies for, for, for uh, construction of tunnels. With above thoughts in mind, we have designed this capacity building program. As Dr. Anna has already told you that we wish to impart an in-depth knowledge of each department related to tunnel at one single platform by pooling best available talent globally. What are the contents of the program? This will cover entire spectrum from planning to investigation, construction, operation, and maintenance of all types of things. Highway, railway, hydro. And contents have been prepared by keeping in mind requirements of tunneling professionals, engineers, geotechnical engineers, geologists, geophysicists, who are dealing with tunneling projects. Uh, so many people used to ask me about the lecture modules on telephone or emails. So here I will explain you the structure of this entire program. There are six modules starting from introduction to formulating a project, survey and investigations, design, tender and contract management and tunnel construction. Tunnel construction will cover a bit of uh, maintenance and operation of uh, projects also. Uh, there are 100 lectures in total and these are uh, organized into a set of 51 lectures in the core segment and 49 lectures in the optional segments. Uh, I'm thinking to add one or two more lectures so it may become 101 or 102 uh, finally. We want to give you more than what has been, what has been promised. So starting with four segment, we shall be uploading four lectures uh, per week, followed by uh, optional segment lectures, uh, which will be, and each lecture will be 20 to 25 minutes duration. Dr. Rana will explain you functioning of LMS 
in in detail or uh, soon after i complete my uh, speech and uh, here is our training faculty i have some time so i will uh, try to introduce uh, each one of them uh, with you we have mr ak mishra md of mangechu who is there uh, on the panel today with us we have mr ak jain uh, executive director nhpc then dr ak rena senior principal scientist at simfar nagpur we have dr benician hoss who is principal director amberg india limited he is the inventor uh, the, the man who has uh, proposed this i system of rock mass classification and uh, tunnel support design and uh, he shall be speaking on this uh, topic uh, in this in this course so i think you will listen from the horse's mouth uh, it is something like you know barton giving giving lecture on q system or wenerski giving lecture on rmr so but you know here i am taking care of that so uh, then uh, we have uh, one gentleman mr vinay mishra from metro tunnels kanpur and agra metro tunnels he is working with tvy esa india then uh, we have a very reputed colleague of ours uh, mr kanwar singh who is uh, expert in contract management and dispute resolution he was formerly director civil uh, with sgvn and uh, he was executive director in nhpc also then we have a it professor uh, dr mahinder singh who is uh, in department of civil engineering iit roorkee then we have uh, dr madan mr madan mm madan who is uh, formerly executive director nhpc and presently he is advisor power and tunneling association he was president and ceo of jindal power also then we have a veteran uh, from army major general dr b nagarajan he is presently professor at iit kanpur he will be taking care of lectures on survey uh, topographical surveys then myself as i said that i will be taking care uh, entire spectrum of uh, various types of rock mass classification except i system which will be uh, which will be delivered by dr hoss and so many other kinds of interrelated topics will be covered by me and then we have uh, uh, mr imran said a old colleague of mine he was chief general manager in nhpc and a very reputed senior consulting engineer engineering geologist we have miss neeta arora who is director renewables in smec uh, she is a very uh, well known personality we have uh, mr nils everson for directional drilling uh, there will be a lecture on directional drilling because in my view if we can apply directional drilling uh, techniques in our investigation of tunneling i think we will reduce this level of uncertainty to a very very great extent i think this will be available for the first time to indian audience uh, this kind of thing. then uh, dr uh, professor billings is with us he is chairman of turkish tunneling society and he was formerly head of mining engineering department at istanbul technical university we have dr prabhas pandey who is luckily on the panel with us he is an expert in earthquake engineering and seismotechnics he was formerly he is formerly additional director general of gsi then we have dr rajbal singh who is expert in rock mechanics he was formerly joint director and head of rock mechanics at uh, csmrs uh, this is a government organization under ministry of water resources then we have dr rajendra kumar bhaseen he is a technical expert at ngi norway we have uh, mr rajiv sethi he is senior vice president civil design at ipl gurgaon formerly he was with nhpc civil design dr r k goel the next uh, faculty is uh, a formerly chief scientist and scientists in charge 
of CSI, CSIR SIMFER. We have the octogenarian faculty in Mr. R.M. Thiganchi, who is formerly executive director in HPC, formerly MD of Punasanchu 1 and 2 projects, formerly MD of Tala project. Like Mr. Mishra, uh, Mr. Aran Khajanchi completed Tala project very, very successfully. He will be giving a complete case study of Tala project and one lecture on the contract management of Tala project in this program. Uh, he is an above 80 years old person. He is the eldest amongst all, uh, all of us. And the youngest most would be around 40 years of age uh, in this panel. Then we have uh, Mr. Aryan Mishra, reputed, very reputed person and a colleague of ours. He was uh, chairman and managing director of SGVN Limited. He is on board of on several, several uh, PSU companies at present. He was adjunct professor at IIT Roorkee also. Then we have none other than Dr. Sanjay Rana, who is a professional geophysicist, a geophysical trainer, and founder and chairman of uh, Parsons Overseas Limited. He is chairman of Aqua Foundation also. And DDAG and Aqua Foundation are, are doing this program together. In fact, although this program started somewhere in our brains, but it is due to Dr. Rana that this program is seeing light of the day because the infrastructure which is required uh, to be created for delivering this kind of uh, program is, uh, is, is, uh, it is not possible without Sanjay. And uh, the another, uh, the, 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 this certainly has made this program uh, possible. Then we have another IIT uh, professor, uh, Dr. Chattupa uh, He is associate professor at IIT. Then Sumit Jain, who is uh, one of the, you know, uh, important person in tunneling industry today, who is bringing latest technology for RVNL projects at Rishikesh Kantra project. He's project director of this project at present. Uh, we have uh, Mr. Sharik Khan, who is lead engineer, geotechnical tunnels underground, OE India Limited. For instrumentation, we have uh, Mr. V.K. Rastogi, who is country head of Geodata Australia. Uh, then we have Vipin Kumar, formerly Chief Environment and Sustainability NHPC. We have another IIT professor uh, from Dhanbad, uh, Dr. V. M. S. R. Murthy. He will be speaking on uh, refurbishment of uh, and testing of uh, rock samples for PBM. We have Mr. Vipul Nagar, uh, who is senior manager with NHPC. He is perhaps the youngest most. And uh, then we have a renowned uh, personality, Dr. Herad Wagner, who is consulting engineer underground infrastructure for global society. He is uh, active in uh, this Indian subcontinent and uh, very, very well-known person. Then we have last Last but not the least, Mr. Yogendra Deva, who is uh, a colleague of mine. He is a director of DDAG Private Limited and voluntary retired director from GSI. He is one of the, you can say, uh, partners in bringing this program and designing this program. So uh, due to his uh, occupancy in some other consultancy work, he could not attend this program today. So with this, uh, in a nutshell, if I tell you, there are uh, four IIT professors from three IITs, IIT Kanpur, IIT Roorkee and IIT Dhanbad. They will be delivering more than 10 lectures. There are experts from other countries. They will also be delivering more than 10 lectures. And there are, uh, there are so many Indian well-known faces who are known internationally, who are your faculty. And therefore, you know, it gives me confidence that, uh, that we will do a good job for you. So thank you very much. Happy tunneling to all of you. With this, I hand over to Dr. Dhan. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you for this wonderful introduction. 
and uh, even when i go through all the faculty i must inform first of all to all the audience that uh, the the combined experience of the faculty which is being brought uh, through this program is uh, more than 1000 years of combined experience so that is the kind of faculty which has been put together and my congratulations to uh, to dhavan sir for uh, actually painstakingly doing it over the years he has been, over the last one year he has been talking to each one of them and it's really not easy to put all of them on a single platform so my heartiest congratulations and now i will briefly introduce you to uh, to the lms system which we are going to follow and of course we are always there to help you at any point of time but uh, right in this session it's an introductory session so i'll take you through the journey of lms i'll just start sharing my screen okay and rashid ji a quick confirmation my screen is visible yes sir all right so uh, rashid ji will just type in the chat box uh, the address although it has been sent to all of you whoever have registered you have got this address and uh, so this is the this is af academy uh, whatever address will be there in the chat box so that's the url at which you have to go and once you go at the url you will be taken to your login screen your login screen will have your email id uh, with which you have registered and then a password which also has been sent to all of you what default password has been sent to you all of you it is unique not default it is unique to you but it has been generated by the system and sent to you so you can simply put your email id and password and then sign in from here now just in case you forget your password or you have not got the what you call it uh, the link of the password you can go to forgot password here and then go to the next step so it will ask for your email id and will send ask you send reset link so now you have to go to your mail and uh, check for that link and again now you can put your own password so that's a very simple process but well, slightly uh, one particular point is that kindly whitelist uh, the mail ids uh, from hums okay again the mail id will be put by rashid ji in the chat box uh please whitelist that email id so that it is not going to spam if otherwise uh, if you are doing a reset of the password and uh, then you check your spam soon after that if the if the email has landed in spam okay so from here you do this and then your password is sent to you and so this is your new password confirm password and set new password so this is how you can uh, even if you have forgotten your password or you missed the mail on your password no worry only thing which you need to remember is the url which has been put in your chat box the only thing which you have to remember is your email id from which you have registered and then you can reset your password and then you will be taken to your panel this is your panel so there are many of you who have already registered with us on other programs so all your programs are in the same lms but if you are just registered for this program you will see this online training program on tunnels and tunneling and this will be the program and here it will show your overall progress and from here you can enter the program okay and once you enter the program you will see all the modules here okay here are the module 1 module 2 module 3 module 4 module 5 etc etc now obviously we are going to load lectures in these modules as per the schedule which was uh, told by dr dhawan that every week on monday and thursday we are going to put uh new programs in these uh, these modules okay but whatever program has been uploaded at any point of time will always be available to you in this particular link so suppose this week you could not go through the four lectures no problem even after the next week now on a sunday you are more relaxed you can go to the previous lectures also although my experience working with lms and even attending lot of courses in lms is that it's always advisable to actually keep completing these lectures from time to time so example one week four lectures 20 minutes each try to complete it because once they get accumulated they become a bit too much to do and that's the idea of of doing it uh, in a sequence here you also see core and optional written here so for example here it is core and here it is optional now anyone who has joined this program has joined it only when he has signed up for the core program for sure many of you you have already joined for core and optional right in the beginning so for you all these modules will be available at all the time but suppose later on you change your mind initially you had joined only the core program and now you want to buy this particular module let's say rock mechanics input shear strength of intact rocks you want to buy this module you can go at it this and then buy now 
okay and you buy now add to the cart every module is just 250 rupees and then you go to checkout and it will do the checkout it will ask for certain information and then it will take you to the payment page and from here you can buy the optional module so then this is a, a column here of questions okay so whatever suppose you're going through a particular lecture and you have certain question on that okay so you can type your question here and it will be sent directly to the faculty okay so faculty will answer your question so this is a uh, question bar so we are always there for all the hand holding other than the live lectures which we will be doing from time to time live sessions rather uh, don't wait for the live sessions live sessions are great but number of people there asking questions generally questions come to your mind when you are actually attending a lecture so let's say you have attended a 20 minutes lecture you have got four questions which which came to your mind feel free to put the questions in the question here and then it will be taken to the faculty you have so you can you go to the question enter your question and if any other detail you want to put there you can put the details and then submit the question similarly discussions you want to start a new discussion topic like it's basically a forum this entire lms is giving a forum to whoever whatever number of participants registered to interact to interact with each other to share your experience to ask questions to 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 basically get solutions to your problems right so this entire panel has been made keeping that in mind so questions then discussions you can start a discussion from here these are resources tab here so we will put a lot of resources which you can read at your own time whenever you have time you can read uh, through certain resources most of them uh, these will be internal resources our own notes which we are sharing with you they can be external resources also which we feel are beneficial to you as a tunnel engineer okay and then you have announcements so if uh, a new program is coming up or a live session is coming up we'll be making announcements here so this is the the brief structure of of the lms of course at any point of time, if you have any questions on that, you have our email IDs. You have the email ID of uh, support at HUMPS. You have the email ID of DDAG. You have email ID of AF Academy. Feel free to write to us at any point of time. Uh, one more important announcement, which I want to make here is that uh, we have been uh, getting a lot of requests from many people who could not register by the end date of uh, 31st of May. So we discussed it with uh, with Dr. Dhawan and team. And uh, since we are going to start our first uploading of lecture from uh, from 13th of June, that is the next week, uh, you are free to register till 13th of June. Okay. So we are pleased to extend the date of registration till June 13th. So if you are attending this program but you still have not registered, you feel free to register by June 13th. Uh, Rashikji will uh, paste the link for uh, for for joining this program in the chat box. Otherwise, it's very simply, it, you can go to www.tunneling.in. So that's the web website where everything is available, including the joining link. But Rashikji, for your advantage, we'll put it in the, in the chat box also. Okay, so this is in brief what I wanted to tell you about, uh, about uh, the LMS and how it will operate. We have got few questions. Uh, first question is this uh, by Mr. Aru Gangwar. He's asking, Will the lecture PPTs be shared by sessions? Yes. Whenever we are uploading a session, we will be uploading the video of the session, which you can go through. It will be accompanied by uh, the presentation uh, for your records, which you can download and keep it with you for your records. And it will also have, most of the lectures will also have lecture notes. That is reading material. So other than the video and the PPT, you also have some reading material, which you, of course, so you can read through it at your own convenience. Okay. Then uh, next question was Mr. Bimal Chandra Roy, and this is for Dhawan Saab. Uh, he has asked a very interesting question. He said, when actually the first tunnel work started in India? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I think it is uh, difficult to answer, but I think it is a railway tunnel uh, in, in Mumbai. Uh, I am forgetting the name of the tunnel. It is a few hundred meters long. And I will certainly I give you name of this tunnel in one of my lectures. Okay. Or if I don't, if I fail to give it, please remind me. Thank you, sir. And then there is a question from Mr. Sardesai. Uh, 
uh, was the slide shown earlier from the hums app yes the slide shown earlier was from the uh, hums app please let me know that this is the new interface uh, it's not a new interface this is a, if you are an uh, if you are attendee of any earlier program it is the same panel uh, it will remain on the same panel and uh, rashik ji uh, uh, sorry i'm interrupting here this is the new interface the, the slides that we had shown uh, this is different from the current interface of the LMS, and uh, this new interface will be available later this week for all existing participants of any of the courses, as well as for the new tunneling courses as well. Right. And the earlier participant of any course, of course, uh, like once they log in, they will be taken to this new interface where their yes, earlier courses, we, also, their yes, earlier yes, courses uh, also will be All of them will be available in this new interface. Right. Perfect. Thank you, Rashikji. Okay. Now, do we have any other question on, on uh, LMS or anything from anyone? If you have any question, you can ask now. Or, of course, we are always available on email. You can ask your question on email later also. But since we are having a session. Okay. Uh, Mr. Nikhil uh, Sir Desai is saying, Dear Dr. Dhawan, I think that's the Parsik tunnel between Thane and Kalwa. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. I was forgetting the name. Uh, it is it is the same tunnel I was talking about. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Nikhil. Wonderful. So this platform has already started working. We always say that this is uh, th these kind of platforms are great for uh, you know exchange of uh, knowledge and information, and that is how we want it to be. And that's why there's a discussion forum there. Uh, in the LMS, where people can sh start a new discussion, share their expertise, and of course interact with the with the faculty also. Sanjay sir, may I please? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Pragya Sharma, the Secretary General. I just uh, wanted to inform all of you that uh, in case in case I'm sorry, sir, if I missed out, if Sanjay sir has already mentioned that we'll also be creating WhatsApp group. Uh, I uh, so I'll be we ha already have the numbers uh, of all the registered participants, but some of you, as we see, uh, always have some other number on WhatsApp. So though I'll be adding all the participants to this group, but any of you who has a separate uh, or a different uh, WhatsApp number can please uh, share it with us over an email. Or uh, may I request uh, Rashid ji to please kindly just please put my mobile number in the chat box. So you can directly also WhatsApp it to me, please. And kindly cooperate uh, because uh, this WhatsApp group uh, just makes the whole thing more efficient and it will only be related to the official communication regard regarding the program. So I request all of you to please, uh, uh, either any of you who has the different number, we will share the invite link, kindly accept that link. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pragari. I missed out on this part, actually. This is very, very important. Because you see, uh, mails have a tendency to uh, land in spam. And every time we want to send you a notification, uh, it's difficult to do it uh, by email. Whereas WhatsApp group, we are able to send you reminders of the live session. Every week, we'll be telling you that, okay, this week, this lecture has been uploaded. So please complete this lecture. So all this kind of communication, we don't want to do on email. So kindly join the WhatsApp group. And whoever's number is with us, mobile numbers, we will add them or we'll send you an invite to join the WhatsApp group. So kindly join. Don't be reluctant in joining the WhatsApp group. And it's our promise that they will, there will not be any spam in that group. No good mornings, no good, good evenings, you know, no greetings. Absolutely not. If, if someone is doing that, we will be folded hands. We'll request that person not to do it. We'll keep it absolutely limited to communication regarding our program. Okay. Then uh, there is a question from Mr. Avik Kumar Mandal. Will all the set lecture material be downloadable for study, record, and future reference? Yes, Mr. Mandal. Uh, the, the PDF files of the PPT and uh, the lecture notes, they will be available for download. Uh, you know, if any particular uh, resource person specifically doesn't want to share a particular slide which he has uh, covered in the lecture, uh, we will uh, look into that. But otherwise, in all these LMS-based uh, system, we are making the, the notes uh, downloadable. You can download the notes and the PDF of the PPTs for the future reference. Right. Uh, Dhaman sir, is there anything you feel I have not covered uh, which you would like me to cover further? 
No, I think perfectly you have covered all aspects of Olympics in uh, detail. And uh, it seems that participants are satisfied only therefore, uh, there's no, no doubt uh, raised by them. Right. So, of, of course, in, in, uh, if you have any, any issues with, with this, uh, Rashikji, have you shared your uh, support number uh, with the participants? Yes, I'll just put it in the chat again. Right. So that number and another number, another email ID of pragya at tunneling.in. So these are the two critical email IDs you should have with you. Uh, support at hums.co or whatever Rashikji puts there. And Pragya at tunneling.in. Uh, Ms. Pragya Sharma is, uh, is the Secretary General of AF Academy. And uh, she takes care of uh, whatever uh, problems you will face. So please. Okay. Now, next mm -hmm. question is from Shri Naveen Kumar Thakur. When actually NATM started in India? Well, uh, <laughs> Naveen Sab, <laughs> we, we are... We are taken uh, to the history uh, of yes, Tallinn. Yes, uh, I, I, I tell you, uh, there are so many people uh, who think that NATM has been started uh, started of late in India, but this is not true. Uh, I am an eyewitness. Uh, when NATM was first started in Lokta Tunnel by none other than Golsar himself. Golsar was our consultant. It was uh, uh, 1979. Uh, when Gulsar was brought in, because Lokta Tunnel was experiencing a lot of problems. It was restarted after uh, after very huge methane blast. And rock was very poor. There was a lot of squeezing, convergences, and tunnel dimension was uh, very, very, very short. It was 3.8 diameter finished tunnel. Mr. A.K. Mishra was also there. Both of us were trainees at that time. So, uh, uh, NHPC did two things at that time. For excavation, they brought in road headers. Uh, at that time, it was known as Alpine Miner. They brought two Alpine Miners for two faces, and Golsar started with his experiments with 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 uh, lattice girder and short key. Unfortunately, because Golsar was here for a short time, after his departure, we came back to old technology. So, uh, a step was taken in this direction uh, in his, uh, uh, as late in 79 or 1980 and then it was successfully uh, delivered in Udi stage 1 project in 90s. So as far as my information goes, uh, this is the chronology and now it is being done at several other projects. In NHPC, uh, at other projects, we, we, we have used components of NATM, but not used NATM as a total complete philosophy. But at Loktak and Uri, I can vouch for Uri stage one. Thank you, sir. And uh, there is another uh, piece of information uh, by Shri Piyush Pant. He's saying, dear sir, I think first tunnel of two kilometer of water supply was constructed by Madho Singh Bhandari in Maletha, Uttarakhand around 1600s. Uh, well, this is a good piece of information. We will do some research on it. Then Shri S.K. Uh, Gupta where, is where, asked. Where, where, yeah. Which channel he said? Uh, let uh, me note it down. Sir, it's uh, constructed by Madho Singh Bhandari in Maletha, Uttarakhand. Okay. Thank you. It's two kilometers water supply tunnel. Around 1600s. All right. Then Shri S.K. Gupta is asking, will, will there be any app? Uh, well, uh, Rashikji, uh, this LMS, is it, uh, can you can you talk about this LMS a bit? Sure. So uh, we do not have a mobile app for the LMS, but the uh, LMS, is, it's a web-based interface and it is uh, uh, mobile compatible. So if you open it on your mobile, the interface will render properly like a mobile app and you'll be able to see all the lectures and everything properly there. Yeah, I wanted it to come from you because actually during this session, I I went to the other link to to, to see how the session is going. So uh, you can actually, as Rashikji said, log in with the same credentials on the mobile, and you can watch the lectures on the mobile. So it is mobile compatible. It is it is uh, compatible with your mobile phone. Right. 
so is there any other question uh, rashik ji or uh, can we go towards concluding the session in that case uh, before that sanjay i want to correct a mistake of mine sir while introducing uh, faculties i uh, forgot to not forgot I, i i couldn't recollect name of our uh, dear rashik ji after your name i was to 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 introduce him because he is uh, one of the you can say very important faculties because it is mr rashik kathuria through whom this 31 faculties will operate so he is the most important faculty for all of us true 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 absolutely thank absolutely thank you so much sir yeah yeah we must uh, like uh, these are the people uh, and since we have already acknowledged uh, rashik ji i would like to acknowledge uh, shri ashu mathur uh, who is uh, working behind the scenes and uh, working very hard to bring this program together i would also like to thank uh, miss uh, pragya sharma although many people know her already because uh, they are interacting with her on phones and whatsapp and emails so, so these are actually the pillars of uh, of this entire thing on which this platform has been built so thank you very much dhaman sir for that okay now bhavesh pande says it's close to shrinagar in uttarakhand okay you are asking the location uh, dhaman sir of that tunnel yes. so it is close to shrinagar in uttarakhand so further okay. input has come on that from mr bhavesh okay. pande dr bhavesh pande yeah i i think it's the same uh, bhavesh pande yes dr bhavesh pande Again, I, from... I keep on going to Shrinagar for some other projects. I will certainly go uh, to see that tunnel, and I really thanks uh, our young members who have pointed out uh, uh, that this is a new information. And Dr. Bhavesh Pandey, anyway, comes from uh, our university only. Uh, okay. He is from he is from IIT Roorkee. <laughs> Much younger, but he is from there. All right. So, uh, if uh, there are no further questions, uh, I would like to profoundly thank everyone for uh, coming over here, and I will still hand it over to Dhawan Sir for uh, his uh, concluding remarks, or and then we will close the session. Dhawan Sir, over to you again. Well, friends, I think uh, uh, we have uh, narrated you uh, the the philosophy behind this program, the thought behind this program. uh and first of all the requirement of this program urgency of this program i think we have shared our thoughts with you dr rana has explained you the entire operation of lms and uh, you are in safe hands of uh, mr rashid kathuria who operates this system very very effectively uh, this will run very smoothly there is no doubt now coming to the content part the the technical contents we will try to Uh, live up to your expectation but your feedback is very important and please do not hesitate to tell us in case uh, in some of the lectures you need something more because uh, everybody has a different perception and uh, he works as per his own perception but we are delivering this program for your requirements to fulfill your requ requirements and to equip you with modern technology with modern philosophy of tunneling excavation as as well as uh, as well as uh, uh, supporting and particularly we wish to uh, we wish to uh, remove some of the doubts which are very very you know common nowadays people confuse between any tm and tbm because both are methods but tbm is a excavation method and nitm is a support supporting philosophy method it is a philosophy it is a design method it can be compared with norwegian method of tunneling it can be compared with con uh, convergence confinement method of tunneling so uh, through these lectures we will try to come out very clean on these aspects if you listen to them carefully i'm sure that uh, some of the confusions or doubts or uh, because these terms have become very very common in the industry and uh, uh, because uh, uh, people if if they are not very really clear about it if somebody tells that i am doing tunneling with t 
TBM and other men will say I am tunneling with NATM. So they think that it is either TBM or NATM. So uh, that clarity is required. And there are so many other, uh, other areas where perhaps this kind of confusions are there and we will try to remove them. And all of you will appreciate that tunneling is a vast subject. It is a multidisciplinary subject. You need inputs from several types of uh, experts, specialists, uh, like geologists, geophysicists, design engineers, mechanical engineers, civil engineers, contractors, equipment manufacturers, and lot many others. I mean, you can't even count on your fingers. So uh, many times, because of vastness of the subject, we might not be doing justice uh, to this. And only therefore we have involved all types of experts here, because in my opinion, uh, one man cannot handle this vast subject. And, uh, and uh, um, uh, this is a very, very diversified subject. So please uh, tell us wherever you feel that something more is to be added to this program, we will not hesitate in bringing somebody else and giving you one or two extra lectures on some special special aspects on your demand. So with this, uh, Sanjay, I hand over to you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, and as uh, we were just about to close the session, there is a question from Jyotsna Dikshit, who is asking, tunnel construction site visits to understand practical aspects are planned? It's a question. Uh, from my side, I can say, uh, Jyotsna Ji, that uh, you know, in this particular program, this is a completely online program to give practically knowledge of all the aspects of tunneling. As far as practical uh, visits are con uh, concerned, you have with, uh, like this program is being offered by DDAG and AFA, as we said. And under DDAG, under uh, Dr. Gopal Dhawan's uh, leadership, there are practical uh, field visits which are arranged from time to time. And you are more than welcome to please communicate to us your location, where you're located, and what's it. And when, we will keep you updated on, on the field visits which are being planned. And uh, definitely, if you're a number of people who are interested, uh, that can be arranged. Okay. We are planning a field visit in September at, at Jamera Dam. Right. And uh, there's another question which has come from Jay Prakash Ji. He is asking, sir, what is the different? What different is NATM and old tunneling? So, if you like to briefly uh, answer to that, Dhaman, sir. Well, you see, old tunneling. I think you mean conventional tunneling. In conventional tunneling, what was happening was we were trying to support the rock mass through external means, particularly when you apply Terzaghi's method. So you support the tunnel with the ribs. In NATM, we first of all try to try to take advantage of the support which rock can provide to itself. And secondly, it is as you go, as you proceed further, then you design your tunnel with good backup of instrumentation. So this all there is a lecture on 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 this. I think uh, you will have to wait for it uh, for a few weeks, and uh, you will you will listen to it. And we will have a special session on uh, on the same. Uh, both have entirely different philosophies. Thank you, sir. So uh, with this, once again, I would like to thank everyone. I would like to thank uh, the faculty member who could join us today including Mishra ji, uh, Pandey sir, and uh, of course, uh, and Kamar, Kamar Singh sir, thank you very much. And uh, thanks to all the participants, thanks to the entire team who has worked very hard to build this program together. Uh, we will start uploading the lectures, as I said, from June 13th, one week from now. And uh, I really wish uh, you happy learning, happy tunneling. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank God you. bless you.